Hi everyone. In this video we're going to take a look at how we can use a program called Photo Story 3 to give still images motion and make them more interesting and appealing uh, by using what's known as the Ken Burns effect. And the Ken Burns effect is simply using a, a pan and zoom to make it seem that motion, uh, excuse me, make it seem that images are more alive. Now I've opened up Photo Story 3 and it's really simple. The first thing we're going to do is make sure Begin a New Story is checked. Click the Next button. We'll import our pictures and we're only going to do one picture here to, and make a video out of it. Now I've imported this and what you'll see is on some photos and some images they aren't shaped the correct way. They don't have the right dimensions and this will come up this option here remove black borders and as you can see we have black borders on the sides here so we'll click remove black borders and you'll see this picture is a little different. What we're doing is we're cropping this and you can adjust this by sliding this this way and you'll see a little bit of adjustment over here but we have the black border so generally just as a default take what a photo story gives you and then you'll see the option do you want to use the picture shown in the after box and this is the before and after and we'll select yes we do and you can see a pop-up comes that it's told us let's remove the black button excuse me remove the black borders and we click OK and the next thing we want to do is click the next button and this is just a slide, excuse me, this is just a screen that allows us to add text. Uh, we'll probably do that in another program, but you can add it here. And on the next screen, what we see now is this option comes up, Customize Motion. And we'll click it and open. And this is the position. This is the first uh, frame that will be shown in your movie. And this is the last frame, and you can adjust these. So we're going to click this little button here and let me adjust this a bit and that's you can reposition it and resize it and I'll do that here so the movie we're going to export will start here and then it'll pan and zoom to this position here and let's preview it and as you can see it's doing that pan and zoom for us automatically and it's giving this still image some life which is great to add if you're a video maker this is a great little a technique to use to make your images more interesting and appealing. Now our next adjustment here, however long we set this is how long our video will be when we export it. And the longer and the larger the time you put in here, the longer the video is and the slower the motions. Now I'm going to go back up here and see we can also change this. We can do something we can do just the opposite with the first frame. And see maybe we start here and then we zoom out. something like that and again you could play around with this and we'll preview it and you can see we're zooming now from a close-up to a more wide-angle shot and I'll close that and once we're happy with this we just go to uh, save and wait for the program excuse me I actually have to hit save and close and now we're ready we click for the next slide and this is just to add background music and again that's an option if you want to use it but you probably do that in another program now we're ready to save it you just browse to where you want to save it then click the settings and basically what you're going to want to do is almost always for video making purposes is choose this largest dimension here and which is 1024 by 768 pixels then just click OK and it'll render excuse me, then you have to click the next button and it will render your uh, video and let's view it full screen and we can see the end result here and, and, and as you can see it, it's a really powerful technique and it adds interest and it's so easy to do with PhotoStory. Thanks and see you again in the next video. Bye.